Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to learn how we can modify our book in the Lightroom book module. So let's start by modifying the front and back cover. I'm going to double click on it so we can see it a little bit larger, and then I'm also going to close the panel on the left hand side, and that will let us see it even larger. Now to change the template, I'm going to use the icon in the lower right hand corner of the right hand page, and you can see that these are all of the different double page spreads for the cover that I can choose from. Some of them have one image per page, some of them have multiple images, some of them have more text than others. It just really depends on what you want. I'm going to select the second one from the bottom here. This allows me to have an image on the right hand side and left hand side and text on both pages as well. Now if I click in the image to select it, you'll notice that I get a zoom option here. So I could zoom in or zoom out. I actually want to zoom in just enough to fill this cell. Now that I've zoomed out, probably the easiest way to do that is to right mouse click in the image and choose zoom photo to fit cell. Once it's zoomed to fit the cell, obviously the left and right hand sides have been kind of temporarily cropped or hidden, but I can always click and drag to reposition the image within the cell. If I want to change the image on the cover, all I need to do is select my new image in the film strip and drag and drop it in order to replace it. Then I'll go ahead and just arrange this by scooting it over to the left a bit. Now you'll notice there's this area here to add some photo text and we can do that by just clicking inside that area and typing. So in this case, I'm going to add the name of my book, which is Japan. And I want that to be a little bit larger, so I'll select all of the type by swiping it. And then using the type panel, I'm going to increase the size of the character to somewhere maybe around, I don't know, 100 points or so. I think that's looking pretty good. I want to make sure that I have a little bit of space underneath there because I'm going to tap the return key. And then I'm going to change the size way down to maybe like 20 points. And I'm going to type in photography by Julianne Cost. And by the way, if you don't have all of these options here in the type panel, it might be because this little arrow is not disclosing the options. So just click on it if it looks like this, and then you'll get all of these additional options for setting the tracking and the baseline shift or letting and kerning between different characters. So I'm going to change that last line of type there. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to change the family from regular maybe to something like condensed. Now that's a little bit short. I want to add a little bit more space between each letter. So I'll choose my tracking and then scoot that over to the right just to even up those lines a little bit. Of course, I can also use my scrubby slider or click in the actual text entry area and then use the up or down arrows to increase or decrease the values in any of these options. All right, once I've got that set the way I like it, then I can decide whether or not I want to replace the photo on the back page. And in fact, I think I do. So I'm going to drag and drop that first image there and then reposition that. Now you'll notice that it's adding the text, the metadata from the actual image itself. And in this case, I don't want that there. I'm actually just going to leave that blank. So I'm going to select it and tap the delete key. All right, so we've now customized our book cover. Let's go ahead and start working on some of the pages. I'm going to use Command E in order to go to this multi page view. And let's see how easy it is to reorder our pages. Well, if I want to reorder page five, all I need to do is drag and drop it. And you can see that narrow yellow line will appear, telling me where it will drop when I release my cursor. If I want to move it back, I simply drag and drop again. Now, if I want to move more than one page, then I'll hold down the command key and select, for example, page four and five, and then drag to reposition that double page spread. When I see the yellow vertical line where I want this to end up, I'll just release my cursor and we can reorder those pages. If I want to reorder the photographs without reordering the pages, then I can just select a photograph and drag and drop it onto another cell Lightroom assumes that it wants me to swap those two images, so it does it for me automatically. If I decide that I want to change the template and maybe add more than one image per page, that's really easy to do as well. 
Let's say that I want to add four images to this page right here. Well, by clicking on the downward pointing arrow and then selecting four photos as my category of templates, I can then scroll through until I find the template that I want. In this case, I'll select this template. Then if I want to add additional images from other pages to that template, all I need to do is click on that photo and drag and drop it. So I'll go ahead and condense these pages down to a single page. Now, I no longer need all of these pages, so I'm gonna select page six, hold down the shift key and select page 11. With all of those pages selected, I'll right mouse click and I'll choose remove pages. Let's double click on page five. That will take me to the single page view. And then I wanna select all of the photographs on that page. So I'll choose edit and then select all photo cells. Then I can right mouse click and choose zoom photos to fit cell. The only thing that I don't really like is that we can still see the captions or the photo text. So what I'll do is while I have this single page selected, I'll choose edit and then select all text cells. And then I'm going to move to the text panel and uncheck photo text in order to hide all of those. Excellent, let's go ahead and use Command E or Control E to see multiple pages. I'll scroll down and let's say that I really like the image on page seven. What I'd like to do is I would actually like to expand it so that it is bigger and it covers more than one page. If I click on the template picker and then choose two page spreads, you can see a variety of different templates for my double page spreads. If I want a large image with another small image, I can select that and Lightroom will create that page. Then I can right mouse click and I can choose zoom photo to fit cell. And if I wanna add a second image to that, we can drag and drop this one from page 11. Then I wanna remove these pages. So I'll right mouse click and say remove pages. And you'll notice that as I right mouse click, if I wanted to, I could be adding pages, either a blank page or I could add a page. If I select this, it will add a page that has the same template as the currently selected page. However, I actually want to remove pages. And one thing to note is that every change that I make is actually being saved as part of that saved book project. So you don't have to worry, once you've saved your book once, it's just continuously being updated. All right, I wanna cover one last thing, and that is I'm gonna go back to the library module because I see that I've forgotten an image. And people always ask me, how do you add another photograph to a book that you've already started? Well, all we need to do is go to the folder where the photograph is. I can just navigate here until I find an image that I don't have in that saved book project. I'll select it and then drag and drop it on top of the book project. Now look, on the right hand side, there's a little arrow icon. If I click on that, Lightroom will automatically take me to the book module and open that book for me. Then we can see in the film strip that all of the other photographs have a little one on top of them, telling me that that image has already been used in the book. Well, let's go ahead and scroll down to the end. I'll select page 55, and then I'll add a new page that adds a new page here, and of course it has to add the second page because you can't just have one page on one side of the book. So I'll select page 57, choose the template that I want. In this case, I'll select the full bleed, and then from the film strip, just drag and drop the image into that page. So there you have it. I think you can see how easy it is to customize not only the page order, but also the page templates in the Lightroom book module. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.